What up, Buffalo Fanatics? Z-Bot here with you. The NFL season has only been over for one week, and I'm already sick and tired of the wall-to-wall -wall coverage talking about nothing other than the Kansas City Chiefs dynasty. So tonight, we are going to shine light on the best Buffalo Bills players of the 2023 season, and we're going to do so every night this week by handing out paper plate awards. The beauty of these awards is that only one vote counts, mine, which is great because if there were 49 other votes involved, I might be considered a coward for having a differentiating opinion. Each night this week, I will hand out a different paper plate award, and at the end of the week, I will join you for a live smoke break where we will break down each award, and I'll take your thoughts and your opinions on all of them. So we kick things off with an award that celebrates a player who was doubted going into the 2023 season, but by the end of it has given us every reason to believe the future is more than bright, and that is the most improved Buffalo Bill Paper Plate Award. But before we dive into tonight's winner, I got to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, and that's my friends over at Aura. So the other day I'm Googling my own name because I figured if Jason Kelsey can win sexiest man of the year, why can't I? I got the beard. I got the huskiness. I'm par for the course here. I got to make some sort of list. So I Google my own name, see if I'm coming up on any of those. No, I'm not. But what is coming up kind of shocked me. A ton of my personal info all over the internet addresses, health records, relatives. So I looked into this, and apparently data brokers will sell your info to spammers and scammers, anybody who's looking to target in on you. And that's why I've been using today's sponsor, Aura, to help clean my information off the web. As you can see on the screen, Aura will show me which data brokers are selling my info and automatically submit opt-out requests on my behalf. Cleaning up all my info off the web has not only helped me prevent the spam phone calls and the spam emails, but it's also helped me prevent hackers from getting into my password-protected accounts online, especially my bank accounts. The coolest feature to me, though, about Aura is that it takes all these other services that you're probably already using, like VPN and Password Manager, and it puts it all under one umbrella because Aura offers all of it. So go to the link in the description below and click on that link. It's Aura.com slash Buffalo Fanatics. You click on that link and you can get started with a two-week free trial. All right, so most improved Buffalo Bill of 2023. I think he could have had a couple of choices here. I think he could have went James Cook if you wanted to, really exploded onto the scene this year in his second year, a 1,000-plus yard year, really popped, really made it seem like he's going to be a cornerstone for this Bills offense for some time. I think you also probably could have went Tyrell Dotson, steps up in a major role for a depleted linebacking core for these Bills. He comes in, and not only does he step up in that role, but he flourishes. My choice, however, comes from a unit that I think was doubted as a whole going into 2023, and that's the Buffalo Bills offensive line. If you were to have surveyed the majority of Bills fans at this point last year and you asked them, what's the biggest issue facing these Buffalo Bills moving forward? It would not shock me if the majority of those answers were offensive line. You fast forward to today, and I think that that answer would be drastically different. The improvement from this Buffalo Bills offensive line was noticeable by just about everybody this year, but by nobody more than the guy who's behind him on every single snap. Josh Allen told reporters in late December that this year's iteration of the Bills offensive line was, quote, the best I've ever been around. In order to make this type of leap, individual players were going to have to step up in a major way. And I don't think anybody quite outbeat their own expectations like my 2023 most improved Buffalo Bill right tackle Spencer Brown. At six foot eight, 310 pounds, Spencer Brown had all the on paper attributes you'd want from a tackle, which is why the Bills took a shot on him in the late third round in the 2021 NFL draft. After an inconsistent start to his career that included a back injury that needed surgery, there were more questions than answers surrounding the future of Spencer Brown in Buffalo. But both Brandon Bean and Sean McDermott stayed the course. At the end of the 2022 season, Bean asserted 
that he saw a lot of improvement in Brown throughout the course of the year and urged critics to let time run its course before concluding their judgments on Spencer Brown. Turns out Brandon Bean hit the nail right on the head. Spencer Brown's 2023 season would serve to be his best by a wide margin, making drastic improvements in nearly all major statistical categories, according to Pro Football Focus. Where Spencer Brown really earned this paper plate award, though, was in the run blocking department, helping contribute to perhaps the most balanced offense we've seen the Bills display under Josh Allen. He rose from a 56.2 overall run blocking grade in 2022 to a 73.3 run blocking grade in 2023, according to Pro Football Focus. To add context to that grade, Spencer Brown would rank out as the ninth highest graded tackle with at least 400 run block snaps and the third highest graded tackle with at least 500 run block snaps, only falling behind two first round picks in Penny Sewell and Taylor Decker. Brown's individual efforts were pivotal in helping the Bills improve their overall run blocking in 2023. Buffalo's run blocking jumped from 26th and 28th in 2021 and 2022, respectively, to 17th in 2023. It also spearheaded James Cook's ability to have a breakout season, eclipsing 1,000 yards and really proving not only he was worthy of that second-round draft pick, but that he's capable of being that electric weapon that Brandon Bean drafted him to be. Brown's success in 2023 would evolve, and he would continue to get better and better as the season progressed. Joe Piscaglia of The Athletic noted that after the Bills' bye week, Brown had been the best player of the starting five linemen and one of their best players, period. No game would prove this more than the Bills' drubbing of the Dallas Cowboys in Week 15, where the Bills ran the ball 49 times for 266 yards, leading to a 31-10 must-have W. Spencer Brown's hand in that beatdown would rank as PFF's highest graded tackle of the week with a 92.9 run block grade. Spencer Brown catapulted himself into perhaps the Bills' most electrifying run blocker, but he still leaves some to be desired when it comes to his pass blocking. With that said, however, he did make a major leap in that category as well, dramatically increasing his pass blocking grade from a season ago. Nobody was expecting Spencer Brown to turn into an all-pro overnight. So to be able to see these dramatic increases in all of these different categories and to be able to see him make a major impact on this Bills offense this season is exactly what us Bills fans were hoping for going into this year. And perhaps the most impressive element of Spencer Brown's game in 2023 was his durability and his availability, playing 1,305 total snaps and 1,160 total offensive snaps, good for third most in the NFL at the tackle position. The Bills went into the 2023 season betting on the fact that the offensive line that they had already built was going to prove itself. And I think that they did exactly that. And I also think Spencer Brown did exactly that. The Bills finished in the top eight of all major offensive statistical categories and achieved those numbers running an offense that was less dependent on the superhero capabilities of Josh Allen needed in years past. So there it is, Spencer Brown, your most improved Buffalo Bill of 2023. Enjoy your paper plate award, my friend. He only turns 26 this season, and he's still got a year left on his deal through 2024 under his rookie contract. And you have to think, if number 79 has another big year for these Bills this upcoming season, we'll be seeing him lead the path for Josh Allen and this Bills offense for several years to come. Alrighty, folks, make sure to hit that like button for me on the way out, and please make sure to hit that subscribe and bell notification so that you will be alerted of the rest of the awards I'll be giving out throughout the remainder of the week, as well as all of the BF content we have for you here on a daily basis. And while you're down there, please go make sure to check out my friends over at Aura and take advantage of that awesome two-week free trial. All right, until the next one, folks, take it easy, and as always. Go Bills.